are too corrupt for women. But if politics are too corrupt for women, then surely politics are too corrupt for men. Yes. 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 When social conditions are corrupt, women cannot escape by shutting their eyes and paying no interest. It would be far better if we were able to have a chance to clean things up. Yes. 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 Women have been cleaning since time began. And if women ever get into politics, there will be cleaning out pigeonholes and forgotten corners on which dust of years has fallen. And the sound of the political carpet beater will be heard throughout the land. Yes! Women are at work across the country, in factories and on farms. Why should we do the work of men and not have the same rights? Yes. 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 Why do men have to be so stubborn? Yes. 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 Once everyone realized that women have two very capable hands and should be employed in the war effort, the Employment Bureau began to organize university women into munitions factories and onto farms by exempting us from exams. And thank goodness they put us out on those farms. Farmers were refusing to put in tomatoes, onions, and other vegetables because they had not been able to get them gathered last year. It did take some convincing though, those farmers were so stubborn. It was extreme need only that induced those growers to listen to the proposition that city girls should come to fill the gap left by many men gone to war. Meeting after meeting of the growers was called. The men sat silent and distrustful. Do you need pickers? Yes. Can you get them? No. Well, do you want to guarantee work to these girls? Silence! No. 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 We have proven those men wrong. Our farmer was finally persuaded to let us 500 city girls from Toronto have a go at something other than picking. He sent 15 of us to clean up an old vineyard that had been neglected for two years. A plow had cleaned between the rows, but there were tall weeds growing along the vines. The soil was heavy clay, now baked hard. It might as well have daunted us girls. But hour after hour we hacked and we pulled while mosquitoes grew thicker as we moved farther up the mountain. Some weeks later, the farmer told us that no man could be got to tackle that vineyard, but we did it and we showed him. After that day, even if there was no picking to be done, no girl on that farm lacked work. Now let's go 